The state's only oil refinery is taking a step toward a more sustainable future. Par Hawaii invested $90 million for a new processing unit that will produce renewable fuels with plant-based oils. Casey Lund has more on how much better this will be for the environment and eventually your wallet. Aloha from Par Pacific, Hawaii's only oil refinery. This is uh, interesting stuff we're talking about, a $90 million investment to start the move to renewable fuel and producing that. Uh, I want to talk with a couple of different people. We have uh, Hannah Demler with us from Pono Pacific. Going to get with you in a moment, but we want to start with Eric Wright, president of Par Hawaii. Uh, hello to you both, and thanks for being with us. Eric, tell us a little bit about this initiative, uh, where we are in producing sustainable fuel and sustainable uh, aviation fuel right here in Hawaii. Yeah, so we're investing $90 million here at our refinery in Kapolei to produce renewable fuels. It'll be online in about a year from now, 60 million gallons a year. And what we're doing is we're really diversifying the energy system here in Hawaii, but also diversifying our workforce and adding new skills to what they do here. Yeah, and um, tell me, I want to show some of the images that we have from you folks already. A lot of this infrastructure has been in the works for a while. Where are we? I know that you have a blessing coming up on the 21st. We're grateful to get a little sneak peek and share that with our viewers. Um, but we already have the tanks. And, and what all is needed to kind of pull this off? Yeah, so we built some new tanks. They're bright green. You might see them when you're flying yeah. into Honolulu. Um, and we've got construction going on on our unit. We're converting a unit here at the refinery to renewable fuels. Um, that'll take about nine months, and so it'll be online about a year from now, producing fuel. And, and the goal is about 60 million gallons, you said, right? Yes, that's right. We'll make sustainable aviation fuel for the airlines, but also diesel fuel for utilities, for trucks, for ships. And the material to make that fuel doesn't just uh, fall out of thin air. Um, that's where folks like Pono Pacific and Hannah Demler is with us uh, from Pono, Pono Pacific. Before we get into the actual crop itself, which I'm interested in, tell us for people that aren't familiar a, a little bit about your guys' organization. Yeah, Pono Pacific is a land management and conservation company, and we work on a variety of projects all around the state, mostly just helping our partners reach their sustainability and conservation goals. And uh, you brought something, some show and tell, because we're talking about the actual crop that will be used in that sustainable fuel. Uh, what do you have there? Yeah, so this is Camelina sativa. I have some seeds here and some oil. The seeds are really small, but they're really high in oil content, about 30-40% by weight. And Camelina is a drought-tolerant, pest-resistant, and really fast-growing crop, so it can be grown in rotation with a lot of different food crops. And the seeds can be pressed for liquid renewable fuel. Um, and also the seed cake, what's left after you press the oil out of the seeds, can be used as an improved nutrient-rich animal feed for cattle and poultry. This is pretty cool. And, and where are we in the process of kind of identifying the land that we need to, to grow enough of this? Yeah, we're actively identifying suitable farming partners that can help us grow lots of camelina. Um, Pono Pacific has already established relationships with farmers across Oahu, Maui, Hawaii Island, and Kauai that are helping us grow this crop and figure out best cultivation practices um, and how we're going to scale it up. And you know, this is creating green jobs. This is good for the ag folks. This is good, of course, for uh, consumers as well as air travel. We heard from Hawaiian Airlines as well, and you'll hear more from them later. But uh, we want to thank both of you, Eric Wright, Hannah Demler from Pono Pacific uh, Land Management, and Eric from uh, Par Hawaii. Exciting stuff. And, and again, that blessing, the governor will be part of that on November 21st when they start to uh, really ramp up and begin producing that sustainable fuel. We'll send things back into the studio for now.